No, Steve, I was That's prepared for your beard, and your beard is now gone. I had a beard. My wife came in yesterday and said, oh, take it off. Really? And I misunderstood her. I didn't know she was talking about the beard. <laughs> so I was just sitting in the chair naked. And, <laughs> and nothing happened. No. So she wanted to know. It's crazy, man. Didn't she, isn't she the one who encouraged you to grow she the beard? She told me. Uh -huh. Last summer, we was on vacation. You know, I grow my beard out. It's gray. I don't have enough gray in the mustache yet. So, you know, this is just for men. Uh -huh. And so, and she told me, you look distinguished. And then yesterday, she said, you look old. And, uh, <laughs> oh, no. I went from distinguished to old. Uh, <laughs> so she told me. To... And you did it. You did it uh, without hesitation? Because, you know, it's, it's time to start shooting Family Feud. Right. So, you know, and little big shots, you don't want to scare the kids. You, oh, you feel like the beard would be... <laughs> a little bit too upsetting to the children. You just got back from vacation, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We was down in the... down somewhere. I'm glad you took a vacation. What do you not want people to know? Is it like a place you go regularly? Yeah, I try yeah. not to. Uh huh. You know, I don't. I don't like being on TMZ. I do pretty good. I don't I blame you. I stay off of it. I just don't go nowhere. <laughs> I just go out, man. So we were down there. You know, we went to this place, and they had sharks. Oh, really? Okay. And it, the signs is posted everywhere. Beware of the sharks. There's no one in the water, and so this guy comes up. We're on the dock, just looking at the sharks. He says. You, you can swim with those. And I said, swim with what? He said, you can swim with the sharks. I said, you see the damn signs? <laughs> he says, no, those aren't bull sharks. Those are nursery sharks. How the hell I know the difference? <laughs> Between a damn bull shark, all of them bull sharks to me. <laughs> and in all of shark history, mm -hmm. you've never seen a black person be attacked by a shark. Ever. Is that true? Ever. Awesome. You can watch Shark Week all year long. <laughs> we are not involved in shark attacks. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm very proud of that. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're showing better judgment. It is Black History Month. You need to know stuff like this. <laughs> <laughs> you... Was this like a big family vacation where all the Harveys are there? No, it's just no. me and the wife. Just you and the wife. Yeah, I try. We don't even tell our kids when we go in places. Because <laughs> they got jobs now. They show up. Is yeah, that they, true? Will they show up on your vacation? Yeah, they just appear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we here. And then they, because you know, my wife loves the grandkids. Yeah, yeah right. Grandkids now. Yeah. So they, and here's the babies. I'll be going, the babies. I don't even want to see y'all's ass. <laughs> <laughs> they don't bought the babies. Because, you know, they, they, my, my wife loves being a grandmother. Yeah, yeah. and, yeah. you know, you say that your wife loves being a grandmother. I, I take that to mean you don't necessarily love being a grandfather. Not at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about it that you don't love? Like? I don't know what everybody was talking about. When you become a grandparent, you're going to love it. What? <laughs> <laughs> I done spent all my life trying to become an empty nest. I wanted my kids to go away, get out. Now they come back with more people. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's coming. It's keep coming. <laughs> but you must spend time with them. I would imagine you, because your wife wants to, that's what you do. Yeah, you have to. Do man. you have sleepovers with the kids? See, that's what, that's the part that I don't... We have too many sleepovers. Because, see, the kids are slick, because they all live out here, right? Uh -huh. And except one of my daughters in Atlanta with her little boy. The rest of them is out here. So it's one, two, three. It's four of them out here. And uh, they come over, like, at 6, so they can go on a date. The parents go on a date. And so by the time we get them to sleep around 9, they real slick. They wait till about 11.30. And then they call, want us to come and wake the kids up and take them home? <laughs> you know, good and hell well, we don't want to wake they ass up. <laughs> who, who wants to wake up catching and hell and get them out of bed? We just got them to sleep. So then they end up spending the night, then they got to have breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> And then yeah. I'll, I'll feed them breakfast. Yeah, well, what do you make them? What, what does Grandpa Steve make for breakfast for the kids? Like, we have, like, most... See, my grand, my kids are vegan. Oh, really? Yeah, my kids are vegan. Oh, OK. Don't, don't clap for me. <laughs>
Do they give you rules about... <laughs> Do your kids then give you rules about don't feed them meat, don't... Yeah, yeah, they got all... I didn't raise them to be this. Mm -hmm. You know, like, they, they come over to the house, and I'm a barbecue man, right, covered on that side. Right. So I'm, I'm barbecue, right. So I'm in there, and I'm barbecuing, and then they come in and go, what is that I smell? You know, good and hell well what it is. <laughs> it's meat. Well, Dad, I don't like the smell of meat. You didn't say that when you was going to college for free. <laughs> and you know who paid for that? Your meat-eating ass daddy. <laughs> That's who paid for that. Now you don't like it. <laughs> Steve, you look at these guys who are many big comedians are like coming back and doing stand-up comedy again. Is that something that you think oh, I would like to? I not that you don't have enough jobs, but something that you want to do again. You no know, man. I did um, NFL honors. Uh huh. Right. Right before the Super Bowl, and I did was supposed to do an eight-minute set. It ended up being like twelve. I felt really good, man. I kind of got bit a little bit. You did. I kind of felt like maybe I should come back and do one more. Yeah. Yeah. At least one more. At least one more. That's pretty good, man. Woo! I'm pretty good, Jimmy. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button. And if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on.